In this video, I'm going to tell you all about the digital photo organizing apps that you need to know about. Hi, I'm Amanda, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Apps will only get you so far, and there may be a little bit of legwork that you have to do to do the full job. Once you have all your photos in one place from all those sources such as phones, computers, hard drives, discs, USB sticks, to name just but a few, there are four main digital photo organizing steps that apps can help you with. The four main steps are, step one, get rid of duplicates. Step two, sort them into folders. Step, step three, maybe a bit of file redating. And step four, renaming all the photos to match the folders. In this course, I'm going to give you options from both PC and Mac. I am not affiliated or get any benefit from talking about these tools. They are just the ones that I found that work really well for me. Step one, deduplication. Now, before we get into the world of deduping, let's talk a bit of lingo. So deduping simply means finding the duplicated photos or dupes and deleting them. Simple, but how do you do that? Well, there are some great apps out there that will help identify them for you. For the Mac, we have Photo Sweeper, and for the PC, we have Duplicate Cleaner Pro. They both work in a very similar way, and it depends what you tell it to do. But ultimately, what they do is a lovely little scan across all of your catalogue, and it will find the photos that it thinks are duplicates. It can look for exact matches, because say you've made a backup, or you've copied it, and you only want one version of exactly the same photo, the app will find it, flag it, and you can delete it. You can also tell it to find things that are a little bit similar or a fuzzy match. You all know the ones. You stand there in front of your family and you're taking five different photos because you want to make sure that none of them are blinking or looking the wrong way and you end up with five very similar photos or you accidentally take a burst photo. You can ask the app to look at the photos that are taken with a certain amount of time and it will flag them as a group of duplicates. Magic! You can also tell these tools what you would like it to flag for deletion. So it could be that you want to keep all the photos that are in a particular folder or came from your computer and you just need to pick out the ones on a hard drive that are not duplicates. You can tell the app that you want it to focus on my computer first and then flag for deletion anything else. It also can be on file size. You can tell it whether you want the most high resolution file to be kept. There are so many options. Now the scan is not gonna do 100% of the job for you, but it's gonna get you halfway there. You'll probably still have to do a bit of a search through if say someone sent you a picture on WhatsApp, which is exactly the same photo that you already have, but it would have a date of when they sent it to you. So it would be difficult to find via the app scans. Therefore, you might have to do a bit of a scan all the way through your photos to be able to do the final job, but deduplicating tools are a godsend. Step two, folder sorting. Now you've got your beautiful catalogue with no duplicates in it. Wouldn't it be great if you could have it in a beautiful folder structure as well? I'm a big fan of foldering by year and month because I'm just that way inclined. I mean, you could do it by theme, but that would have to be a little bit manual and you'd have to sit there and do the foldering yourself. But if you want to do it by year and month, there are some really useful tools out there that will basically do the job for you. For the Mac, we have the big mean folder machine. And for the PC, we have PhotoMove. What these tools do is simple, but so powerful. You tell them how you want to folderize all those files, such as by year and then month of say, the creation date or the photo taken date, and it will move them into that structure for you. Simple, right? Press the button, job done. This I feel is the ultimate secret of effective organizing. We are not sat there dragging and dropping, cutting and pasting all your files into our beautiful folder structure. We are using these little secret tools. Step three, file redating. However, there can be one little problem with these foldering tools. It relies on your lovely photos having the right dates. Now, some of your photos and especially videos like to lose their data, or they just like to forget it sometimes. But never a fear, there is of course some apps and tools out there that can give you a steer in the right direction. Before I get into the world of redating, we need to talk a little bit of lingo. Metadata. Sounds a bit scary, doesn't it? Sounds like something that only an IT professional can talk about. 
No, it's just the data that sits hidden behind all of your files. All those files are on your computer, Excel files, Word files, and most importantly, your photo and video files have this data sitting behind it. Although the date that shows in Windows Explorer or Mac Finder says it was created yesterday because you've copied and pasted it or downloaded it from your computer, actually, there will be the original date hidden behind it that you can access and tell it to use. And there are tools out there that can show you these other dates and you can change the creation date to these hidden dates. For the Mac, we have a better find attributes. For the PC, I've yet to find one as powerful as a better find attributes, but bulk rename utility does have some date changing capability. The reason I'm such a big fan of a better find attributes is you simply drag and drop your files into the tool. It will look in the background for say QuickTime date or an original date to tell you options that you can use. You might have to play around with the settings a little to try and find a date that you want, but it is a great tool for finding them. You can also just tell it a date and it will happily change it to that date for you. The other option is to go down the rabbit hole of EXIF tools, which is way beyond this course and I'll leave you to Google that one. Step four, file renaming. Okay, so we've now got all the dates correct and we've got a beautiful folder structure. However, all the names are still a little bit weird. You've either got things that say image underscore 4579 that doesn't sound very easy to understand, or even worse, you've just got a jumble of letters and numbers. Wouldn't it be helpful if you could mass change all of your file names to match the beautiful year month folder structure that we've just created? Of course, there's some apps for that. For the Mac, we have better file renamer, and for the PC, we have bulk rename utility. You tell the tool how you want the files to be renamed, such as year, month, and then a sequence, and it will magically do it for you. In fact, if you already have that information in the folder name, so you folded it by year and month, and then maybe New York, you can tell it to use that information in a sequence, and it will do a bulk rename for you. Great, but why do all this file renaming? Not only does it look pretty and totally organized, which makes me so happy, but it also means that you can search for the files by name in both Windows Explorer and Mac Finder using just their basic search functionality. Easy. So there you have it, my favorite digital sorting tools. There are a wealth of tools out there that you can use and there are always new ones coming out to help us sort our digital lives. So keep an eye out for the new ones, but these should get you on the path to sorting all those photos. Before I end, everyone likes a bonus. Well, here is a bonus tool for all those Mac and Apple Photo users out there. How to get your photos out of Apple Photos app with all your titles, tags, and comments quickly and simply has always been a little bit of a challenge. Apple have improved the downloading capability of Apple Photos over the last year. However, all those titles, tags, and comments still stay stuck in Apple Photos. My secret, I have a little app called Photos Taker. You point it towards your photo catalog and it will give you the option to download by year, album, and even day. Simple. Do you have any great tips or tools for organizing your digital photos? Then be sure to put them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I've put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that is linked in the description below. So click through and I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.